Okay, welcome to a class on tense. Once again, common mistakes with tense. Now I promised you one with future tense, and so let's kick off with future tense. But I want you to remember that generally speaking, there are very few mistakes with future tense. Most people make mistakes with past and present tense, and it's because they're much harder than future tense. But this is certainly a mistake for number one. It's a mistake because the student meant something different. Now, remember, we've got two complicated future tenses. You've got easy ones like will and going to. And in my opinion, if you say will or you say going to, it will always sound correct. It's very rare that you'll think mm, that sounded like it ought to be going to and not will or will and not going to. There is a difference. Will is spontaneous and going to is more of a plan. But really, you could use them interchangeably in a lot of sentences. But this one will have and the third form. Yeah, will have done, will have been, will have shown, will have known. This emphasises that something will be finished by a future moment. And that wasn't what the student meant. The student wanted to say that they will be having lunch. They will be in the middle of having lunch at 2.30, which is much more likely, you know, that at 2.30 they'll be in the middle of lunch. OK, if you want to say that they will have finished lunch by 2.30, then you really ought to use the by preposition because by means at any time before that moment. And so... OK, you can say I will have had lunch by 2.30 and it just means I will have finished lunch by 2.30. So do remember that for this one, you very often see by plus time expression. Yeah, and it's I think this is really important that you that's when you see that tense, when you say I will have completed the project by the end of the day. I will have written this email. Um, by four o'clock, yeah? I will have seen him uh, by Tuesday, whatever it is. But this by and time expression, that's when you normally use this future perfect tense. And please understand that future perfect emphasizes that something will have been completed by that moment, okay? Um, but use future continuous for any, to any time you're speaking, uh, well, we use future continuous a lot, this will be having, and we normally see it when we give a f concrete future time, like at 2.30. Um, but even on Friday, what will you be doing on Friday night? That's fine. What will you be doing on Friday night? So you do see this will be doing very often, far more often than this one, than future perfect. And you see it very often with future time expressions like at half past two on Friday. And we just say, what will you be doing on Friday? What will you be doing Friday night? There's nothing wrong with what will you do Friday night? That's also correct. But what will you be doing sounds to me more conversational. And so it's well worth using this will be having, will be doing, will be playing. You know, on Friday night, I'll be heading to a nightclub with some friends or on Friday night, I'll be staying at home because I don't want to go anywhere. OK, so do use that. Will be having, will be doing, will be playing. If you listen very carefully to natives, you'll very quickly see that, yes, we do use this one very often. And yeah, it's normally time expressions. OK, with the bar.